This morning, I chose uh, Harvard Heights because I wanted to talk to you about my attendance competition. Who can tell me why it's important to come to school? All right, I'm going to ask pretty necklace of me. Because so you can get perfect attendance. And? And so you can learn. Exactly. Perfect attendance is important, and it's, but it's also important so you can learn. It's so important. We can, we can try to figure out all the different ways that you can do, that we can uh, make school better. But if you're not in class, you cannot learn. And that is very important. You cannot learn when you're out hanging out or you're, you decide, you know, you have a tiny little cough or your knee aches a tiny little bit and you don't want to come to school. That's where you push through and you come to school to make sure that you can learn everything that your teachers have worked so hard to make sure that you learn so you can reach your full potential and figure out what you want to be in life. So that's why I am doing my second annual attendance competition. And the school with the best attendance year over year will have the opportunity to win lots of prizes. You can win $1,000 for your school. Or who likes sports? Who likes soccer? Soccer fans, yes. Oh, it's the number one sport all over the world. If you, you can also have the opportunity to win Baltimore Blast game tickets or a special pizza party. And any student that has 100% attendance, do you want me to tell that secret? You want to you get that part. You want me to tell it? Any student that has 100% participate, I mean attendance through the competition will win tickets to the Baltimore Blast soccer game. And I've been in. They are lots and lots of fun. Anybody excited about doing that? Yes. Good, good, good. And not to mention, 100, 100 lucky students from the winning school will attend an awesome, awesome holiday party with prizes, with gifts, with special um, guests that I can't tell you who they are, but you'll be very excited to see them, and a DJ and lots of good food. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So do you want to be in the competition? Yes! Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I am so pleased to be here with some of our uh, supporters who want to make sure that everyone, every single one of you, are in school every day. I want to thank Molly McGrath, the director of the Department of Social Services in Baltimore. Did you want to say something, Molly, to the kids? Molly is happy to be here, and I'm happy for her to be here because she cares about our young people so much and is doing a, a tremendous job. All right, so I've asked why it's important to be in school. I told you about the competition. Now I want you to hear from one of our partners in my attendance competition, and that is Mr. Kevin Healy from the Baltimore Blast. Can you give him a big hand? Thank you, Mary. I appreciate being here. What grade are you guys in? Sorry, you must be like the top class in the school. You're representing everyone here, huh? Great job. First of all, I want to introduce our all-star defenders here, Pat Healy. We're here to tell you, we're here to support you. The Blast will always be here for you, for the students here, the administrators, principal talent. Just know that anything you need us to do, we'd love to be here to help you, whether it's talking to you about treating each other with respect. I heard you out there with your uh, oath that you were uh, saying out there was phenomenal how you, how you were able to do that, but it's healthy eating choice and of course the importance of education. And education starts with you just showing up to school. And that's something that you, you certainly can control. And like the mayor said, the mayor said, we're here to support the winning school. We're hoping that you guys are the winning school and that you work together for that. And if you're the winning school, you're all going to get a ticket to come to a Blast game, which you're going to have a lot of fun at. You're really going to enjoy. You'll be able to watch Pat play, play on the field at that point in time, and it'll be a lot of fun for you. But we also know from winning championships, we won the championship last year, we won it seven times, that the winning a championship has come together as a team, but a team also is a group of individuals, and as individuals, you need to get better. 
So if you come to school every day, whether your team wins or not, whether your school wins or not, you'll get a ticket to a blast game. And if you're doing well in school, whether it's education or your, or your behavior is better, the teachers are going to give you an opportunity to give you a ticket also uh, to come in at that point in time. So we applaud the mayor's initiative that we, they have that they are doing here because the education is very important. So all of you guys plan on coming to a blast game? Yes. Well, we have we, we, there's a cheer that goes on in our game. Let's go blast. Let's go blast. So let's practice. So we're ready. Ready? Let's go. Let's go blast. Let's go blast. Let's go blast. Perfect. Perfect. Look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Pia. So blast games are lots of fun, and I know that all of you who have perfect attendance are going to look throughout the competition, are going to look forward to coming to the game. I look forward to having you there. It's going to be wonderful, and I'd like to give incentives or, or prizes, because I don't know about you, but sometimes I need a little boost to get me to do even the stuff I know I'm supposed to do. So, now that we're done, do we have any other speakers? Molly says she didn't want to speak. All right, so I'm going to turn the table. Normally, when I come to schools, I let the students ask me questions, but I'm going to turn the table and ask you questions today. Is that okay? All righty. So I talk, we talked about why it's important to come to school every day. So I want you to put on your thinking cap, caps and think about why it's bad to skip school. Give me one reason why it's bad to skip school. Yes, right here. Gotta you talk can, real loud. You can probably fail. Yes, you could fail, yes, sir. You won't get on honor roll, yes, right here. That's absolutely true, yes, right here. That's true. And somebody, yes, all the way in the back. Yeah. And sometimes when when our young people are out of school when, it, when they're supposed to be in school and they're doing and they're not in school and they're just walking around, what could happen? Yes. Yeah, nobody wants that, right? Yeah, and you don't want to upset Miss Thomas, do you? No. All righty. So, I am going to ask, what question am I going to ask you? All right. Tell me, Whose favorite subject is math? All right, now I saw you going right next to the teacher. Yes, why, is your, why do you love math? Um, because, well, the is kind of easy because it's not easy. Do you like it because it's easy? Why do you like math? What about it do you like? You like figuring it out? All right, all the way in the back. Why do you like man? I can't hear you loud. It's fun. Yes, you're right here. And do you like it when it's challenging and then you get you figure it out and you feel really good about yourself? All right, right here. What did she say? Fractions are tough, right? Yeah, okay, over there. Yeah, fun to learn. All right, I'm gonna ask another question. Whose favorite is, is it language arts? Whose favorite is language arts? All right, right here. And tell me why. All right, Does it, in language arts, have you done poems? Yes, does anybody like poems? Tell me why. You like to rhyme? Okay. All right, back, back here, sweetie. Definitely, definitely in you. Very 
very intuitive. We have lots of smart young people. All right, so who wants to tell me their favorite thing to do when they're not in school? All right, first hand I saw shoot up, yes. Play games, yes, right here. Ride your bike, yes, and right next to you. You like to read books, me too. Yes, right here in the middle with the glasses. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, I'll go to you. You like to? All right, wonderful one. Does anybody have any hobbies? Does anybody like to do any fun things? All the way in the corner, right there, it's with the glasses. All right, and you? Okay. Yes. Wonderful. And right here, yes. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, I'll turn it back around and tell me how much time I have. Five, five minutes. All right, so does anybody have any questions for me? Yes, back there? Mm hmm. Hmm, is it tough or easy being the mayor? Some days it's very tough. I would never say it's easy. But I would also say that it's a great opportunity. You know, Baltimore has a lot of challenges, but we also have a lot of opportunities. It's a great, great city. And I enjoy having the opportunity to work with everyone, whether it's students, whether it's seniors, whether it's business people, with everybody to make Baltimore the best it can be. I think I have the best job in the world. Yes. Did I get to? Yes, I do get to see the president. Yes. What? Did I turn 30? What? <laughs> when I met the president, did I get nervous? The first time I met the president in a small meeting, I was a little nervous uh, because in order to get to that room, you have to, everyone has to uh, like give up your phones, nobody can take any of your like iPhones or Blackberries or anything like that, and you have to go sec through security, you have to, there's a waiting room, and then you get in the room, and it was a small meeting, maybe about, you know, 15, 20 people, uh, including the president, and it was in a room that you, I feel like I've seen on television, you know, and it was just with uh, beautiful artwork, portraits of uh, presidents, and it was just a really nice, room and I was a little nervous. I felt like I had to keep pinching myself. Uh, and luckily, the, the president went around the room to talk to all of the mayors that were in the room. And luckily, I was on the, on the, one of the last ones. So by the time it got to me, I wasn't nervous anymore and I could ask, you know, I could uh, give my comments. But then after that, I was fine because I've had several meetings uh, after that and my, I, I'm not nervous anymore. It's, it's fine. Yes. Mm, I went to Oberlin College. It's a small liberal arts school in Ohio in the middle of cornfields and wheat fields and nothing. But it's a beautiful little city, I mean little town, and I got a great education. It also, it's a college and it's a conservatory of music, so I got to, um, you know, when a lot of times when you go back to your dorm room in college, you know, you just see people sitting around eating pizza, but we would see people playing the uh, baby grand piano and practicing music, and it was really fun, a lot of fun. Yes. Say that again. No, because I've been interested in representing um, you know, my peers, and uh, since I was in middle school, so I had a lot of practice uh, 
running for office. I started in middle school and in high school and in college and in law school. So by the time I um, was running for mayor, I wasn't I wasn't nervous anymore. Yes. My favorite subject, that's a tough one. I really, really liked school, so, and I really loved um, a lot of different subjects, but I will say my favorite subject was English, and what part of it? I liked reading very interesting books and uh, being able to have good discussions about them, especially when the books were challenging, so some people could feel really, like, one way really strongly about the book, and other people, like, it, it affected them differently, so you had that kind of, kind of back and forth. I really enjoyed that. All right. Okay, one last, right here in front of me. My favorite sport? All right. It's a cross between, I like, I like sports that, um, so I have, can I have three favorite? All right, I, when I grew up, I grew up playing tennis, and I really like tennis, but I really have a lot of respect for the athletic ability, um, so a lot, some sports, yeah, you can play, and you don't have to be really super fit, but when you play soccer, you have to be really, really super fit, so I like that. And I also like football, because I like to hear it when they go Poof! and like they hit each other and attack. I wish we would have heard a little bit more Poof! yesterday. <laughs> Maybe we would have lost by two points. But I'm over it. I'm not trying to run All right, thank you so much for my fantastic questions and for participating in the attendance now.